Welcome to your reading, Virgo. It's the month of June 2021, and I am so happy that you're here. I've got a great reading for you today. We're doing three different cards. So the first card we're going to talk about is your heart, which means relationships, of course. It could be with your partner, with your friendships, anything that you consider that you hold close to your heart, any relationship you hold close to your heart. Uh, the second card we've got, we're going to talk about your work and your career, see what could be happening for you in the month of June. And the last one will be your luck, which means where could good luck come for you in the month of June? And the last part of the reading, I'm going to use these new Oracle cards that I got, which I love, I'm so excited about. And um, I'll tell you a little bit more about them towards the end. Now, something you should know about my readings, which you probably know if you've watched my other videos, this is intuitive, an intuitive reading. So not only am I going by the meaning itself of the cards, I am going by what I feel, because I feel stuff. So what I feel about the cards, what messages come out for you with this. And um, let's just have fun, right? I hope you find something that inspires you. I hope you find something that gives you hope. If you have questions, I hope this is something that can give you clarity. And um, more than anything, I hope you find a positive message in it because that's, that's what I like to put out there, just positivity. If this doesn't resonate for you, check out your moon and your rising. I'm sure there's something in there that's gonna click for you. So let's start. Okay, Virgo, I do all the pre-shuffling and all the shuffling and laying the cards out before the video only because um, it takes me a while to connect to your energy and I don't like to pick cards out. I like what pops out because that means I'm directly connected to you. So it takes a while to get all that done. That's why the cards are already set out. So Virgo, with your heart, with your relationships, first card you got, which I got to tell you, Virgo, you got a pretty intense month coming up if we follow these cards, because you've got two major arcanas and you've got one ace. And um, that's that. this is uh, like a pretty uh, decisive month for you. Something big, something big is changing uh, this month for you. So in your heart area, we've got the High Priestess. And this is number two in the major arcana. And if you see this High Priestess, uh, you see that how she's sitting quietly. Um, this is this is such a card of Virgo because she should, and don't hate me for saying it, but I've dealt with many Virgos in my life, and this is what I've this is what I've noticed. A lot of them keep their emotions in. So you see how she's sitting there, em almost emotionless. But guess what? She's feeling a lot of stuff on the inside this high priestess. There's a lot going on on the inside, but she's not letting it show. The high priestess is about um, being an intuitive, about feeling, about keeping secrets. So when it comes to relationship, Virgo, are you keeping a secret? Are, it's like you, you, you're burning up for love for someone, but you're not telling them. Maybe this is a card to tell you to say something, to speak up. Because if you stay quiet, Virgo, nothing is gonna change. Nothing changes if nothing changes. So yes, use your intuition, you know, go with your guidance, but also be brave and take a leap. The high priestess has a lot to say, but she's holding it in. And that's not the way to have any lasting relationship. Even if you're in a current relationship or you want to start a relationship, communication, you need to be more open. That's what this message is coming out for you. That's what I feel this message is coming out for you, Virgo. Okay, next we have in your work area, Virgo, you have a beautiful card. You have another major arcana, which is the world card. And this is number 21. This is the completion of a cycle for you, Virgo. Whatever you're doing in work or whatever is coming in the month of June, it's a completion, a successful completion. You've achieved something that you've been striving for. You're ending on a high note. There's a victory. There's some kind of recognition coming for you. You are connected to work, not 
just uh, materialistically, but spiritually. This is this is spiritual, a spiritual card. This is um, just a complete connection to what you're doing and a completion. You're ending something to begin something else. Every ending brings a new beginning. So there's something big that you've completed, have completed or will complete and work that will just show how victorious you are, bring you recognition and propel you forward towards your next step. Beautiful. And now your luck card, you've got the Ace of Wands. And this is a beautiful card to have with luck. Um, aces are brand new beginnings. You've got a lot of beginnings here because the, the world card is a completion, but you can't have a new beginning without closing something out. So here you've got a beginning in luck. And what this means is if you have an idea, Virgo, that you've been mulling over in your mind, if there's a decision that you've been mulling over in your mind, but you haven't taken the leap, this Ace of Wands says, go ahead and take the leap. Nothing grows from a comfort zone. That's what this card is telling you. Take the leap because this is where your luck is. That idea, that passion, even if it's old, if it's new, take it, do it, go for it. Because this is where your luck comes from in the month of June. There's something waiting for you that's gonna prove very successful, bring you a lot of happiness and joy and passion into your life. So go for it. This is a brand new beginning. Just take that leap. Beautiful. I love that. Okay. Ooh, kind of hot here. Now, for your last message, we're doing a message from Spirit. And this is the um, Oracle cards I'm using with some of the Oracle. Absolutely gorgeous. This is not intuitive. This part of the reading is not intuitive. This is a direct message from Spirit, so I'm going to have to read it uh, from the book for you. I've pre-shuffled, but I wanted to shuffle it a little bit more in front of you just so you can see how the cards just pop out. Now, this one's a little sticky because it's brand new. Oh, it smells so good. These cards are beautiful. The messages are beautiful. And um, Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Let's see what, what we've got for you. Whoa, that came out. We got two, Virgo. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Who got two before? Leo? Was it Leo or Cancer? Somebody got two. To the sea and observer. Ooh, very nice. I'll read both of them for you, Virgo. I hope something connects to you. The first one is called To the Sea. Number seven. Oh, glasses, sorry. Old age is hitting me hard. Okay. Number seven, Virgo, to the sea. Your spirit message says, it's wonderful when you feel yourself in the flow of life. When events and conditions seem to engage you in ways that is fluid and effortless. This card reminds you that going with the flow is exactly what you need to do right now. Oh my God, this, this. Ride the wave of opportunity formed by perfect conditions. Allow and trust and, and, and be in faith to guide you towards to guide you forwards as you flow like a river into the sea of life. I can't even read. This is amazing because I'm so excited. It goes so much with this. Ride the wave of opportunity and allow and trust that faith will guide you forward as you flow like a river into the sea of life. That is absolutely beautiful. That was your first one, Virgo. And next you've got Observer. Oops, sorry, let me show you. Observer, which is number 49. All right. Let's go to 49. 
These cards are so pretty and they feel so nice. Okay, observer. Most people see the world through a personal lens, so true. They closely identify with their feelings and experiences so much that they come to believe that these are the only reality. There are times when you need to distance yourself in order to gain perspective and understand your circumstances from a more neutral vantage point. Now is one of those times in your life. This is a perfect moment for you to begin to do some exploring. Instead of only considering yourself, consider what you need to understand about the conditions, people, culture, and environment you're engaged in. You'll be so happy you did. Illumination is the miracle you seek and you will indeed find. Wow. I love these messages for you, Virgo. I hope you found something useful. And if you did, give me a like, subscribe if you wanna see when my videos come out. Um, leave me a message, leave me a message, leave me a comment. I'm always interested in your, in your feedback. If you liked it and you want me to do more videos, also tell me what you would like to see on the channel. And um, I hope to see you here next month. You've got a great month coming ahead for you, Virgo. Thank you, Mwah. best of luck.